Hey Deckers, how are you? Liam here, with a bit of a clarification. In my recent SteamOS 3.4 preview video, I actually messed up twice, so I'm here to fix that. Firstly, I said at the very start of the video it was in beta, but it's not, it is in preview. Although, I did show it correctly on how to do it after, so just to be sure, it's not in beta, it is a preview. Secondly, in desktop mode, with the upgrades to KDE Plasma, I actually showed the older present windows view, not the actual new overview mode. I won't get everything perfect all of the time, I am still very much an amateur, I am learning everything all of the time, I'm only human, and people make errors. I always aim to be as accurate as possible, and I'm totally throwing up my hands here, so I'm fixing it with this video to show you the new overview mode. Firstly, this is the current default view you get when you move your cursor to the top left corner. This is actually known as present windows. It works fine, but the new overview mode Valve mentioned that was taken from Plasma 5.25 needs you to actually switch to it manually. To do so, go into the KDE settings, workspace behavior, screen edges, and when you tap one of them, a list comes up and it's at the very bottom, Overview. So select that, hit Apply, and then you will get it. And as you can see, it is a little bit different. It also gives you access to virtual desktops right here at the top as well. So you can actually add more, and then you can move applications between the virtual desktops. And it actually has a more powerful search as well. It's actually incredibly useful. So hopefully some of you found it quite interesting to see. Perhaps more excitingly though, and a big one I actually missed, is that KDE Connect is now included by default, and this is a very nice addition to the system. KDE Connect allows you to link devices like another Linux desktop, a Windows desktop, or even a mobile phone. In this example, I'm linking my iPhone to the Steam Deck then transferring a file from my phone to the Steam Deck. You can even control input using it, with me moving the cursor around by using my phone touchscreen as the mouse cursor. KDE Connect is incredibly useful. You can download it from the App Store on your phone, your usual software installer on Linux, and on Windows, you can grab it from the Microsoft Store, or there is a plain installer from the KDE website that I will link in the comments. So there you go, showing you the correct overview mode and KDE Connect. Apologies again on the wrong overview in the first video. Thanks for being here and see you next time.